Many children and others are fed dead as a result of a collapse of a three-story building in a Tafaji area of Lagos Island. The building, which is said to be housing an illegal school, collapsed at about 10 a.m. in the morning, with emergency services arriving early to the scene. Our correspondent Susan Wodo has details in the support. A primary school with over 170 pupils was said to have been situated on the second floor of the collapsed building. The collapsed building was surrounded by rescue workers. Emergency workers and security agencies who succeeded in rescuing over 40 children who were rushed to the Lagos State General Hospital, Marina. However, some were motionless. So, but is that the I was sleeping at home when I heard that there was a building collapse. I came out to see that it was my child's school. I remembered where my child class was and went straight to the place. Two pupils were rescued first and my child was the third. I saw that his hands and some places on his head were injured. We rushed him to the general hospital in Lagos Island. Some other pupils were rescued dead and taken to the mortuary. The general manager of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Lasema Adeshina Tiamu, gave his words that the team won't stop till they hit the bottom of the building. As you can see, we are still very busy with the rescue work. It's been a tough one, but we are gradually getting towards, you know, reaching the bed of the building. The environment here does not allow for much space for us to bring in bigger equipment. We've been able to manage in, uh, a crane to help us lift the beams to be able to assess the undernet of this building. But so far, over 40 people have been rescued out of this building. I want to put on record the effort of this community. Majority of what we have done here today has been through the help of this community. They were here before us. They've rescued people before we came in here. And as soon as we came in here, we also joined them. Yes, we have lost some of these children, the account of which we will not be able to give properly now. So many of them are alive, over 40 of them are alive. How many children are there? We've rescued close to 50. I cannot give a definite figure because we keep taking them in and out, you know, and it's not counting that is more important for now. Somebody is taking note of that. Yeah. But after the end of this exercise, we'll be able to put our figures together and then we'll talk to the press. We have the state government uh, uh, agency, the Lagos Building Control Agency, LASCA, that is actually working on that. We, we also, at the, at the local government level, made submission to the state government, to the, to, to the state government, to the state government, and we will also collaborate with them. We will identify more of these buildings that we have been doing. We are more local. We know the building will, be, will be identify more and pass it on to them for silo. According to eyewitnesses, the 30-year-old building had twice been marked for demolition by the authorities, but was instead renovated. Do this thing whereby they inspect all the houses, not only in Lagos Island, all over Lagos State, because you find out that there are some houses that you see red paint um, um, putting on there that they should stop the construction or people should leave the house. But later, maybe like after like some few months, you are not going to find it there again. The construction will go on and people will continue to live in the house. Why? Because they have bribed the officials. Down the evolution that collapsed two years ago. So at least even the house that are renovating, the house are bad. They should not renovate again. The government should not allow them to renovate houses in Lagos Island. They should start the house from scratch. They should rebuild it from scratch. So they should not renovate. The governor of Lagos State, Akiumi Ambade, who also visited the scene, said the state government will carry out an integrity test on the buildings around the area and demolish any that fails the test. We must continue to save life and we will intensify our efforts to see that those that have failed our integrity test will make sure that they are quickly evacuated and will bring these structures down. Residents further called on the government to ensure necessary arrangements are put in place to avoid a recurrence of this tragedy. Rescue operations still continue at the site.